Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with Super Forex. Uh, today, we're looking at the analysis on the currency peer Euro USD, and uh, we'll be talking about the fundamental following uh, whatever we've seen on the technicals right here. And um, we have seen that um, Euro USD post a modest gain around 1.0770 ahead of the Eurozone GDP jobless claims. Now, the Euro uh, USD has attracted some bias. I missed the risk of a mood on why the private payrolls came in worse than expected, rising about uh, 103K in November versus 106K prior. And uh, the Eurozone retail sales rose about 0.1% uh, in October versus minus 0.1% prior, below the market consensus of 0.2%. Why? The Eurozone GDP for Q3 and US jobless claims will be highlighted on Thursday. Now, the U uh, the Euro USD pair post modest gains uh, today during the early Asian session, and however, the upside of the pair might be capped on the renewed US dollar demand and weak uh, weaker than expected Eurozone data. The major pair currently trades around one point zero seven seven zero, gaining zero point zero eight percent today. Now. One thing we need to watch out currently following this is uh, the US dollar index, the XY, which has climbed for three straight days despite a weaker ADP employment data on Wednesday. ADP private payrolls rose above uh, 103K in November from 106K in October, and this figure came in worse than expected. Market players will take more cues from the US employment data this week, including the weekly jobless claims and the NFP, of course, the non-farm payroll. So um, the downbeat of the Eurozone retail sales exerts okay. some selling pressure on the Euros. And uh, the figure has seen uh, rose about 0.1% on uh, MOM Monday. And uh, in October versus the minus 0.1% in September. And below the market consensus of 0.2% on an annual basis, we see that our uh, Eurozone retail sales fell from 2.9% to 1.2% in October, was that a 1.1% drop expected. Now, high interest rates, weak consumer confidence, and uh, fading optimism above uh, the labor market are all combined to really dampen some private consumption growth. Or also, we are also uh, foreseen that um, the ECB board member, Isabel Schnabel, who had stated last month that uh, rate hikes must remain an option because uh, the last phase of the inflation fight may be the hardest. However, she has shifted her stance after three surprisingly low inflation readings in a row, <laughs> and the markets are aggressively, you know, pricing the European Central Bank to cut interest rates by one for two basis point next year, with the first move now uh, seen as soon as March two thousand and twenty-four. Now, looking ahead to this, we are expecting um, investors to await the Eurozone gross from domestic product for the third quarter, Q3, which is estimated to remain steady at 0.1 and uh, quarterly on quarterly on the US docket and the weekly jobs less claims will be due by then. Uh, technically, we are seeing today's last price to be at 1.077 and a total daily change. 0.0008 in percentages, 0.07. And our daily open for today was at 1.0672. Now we have important levels towards the previous daily high, of course, which was at 1.0805. And the previous daily low, which was at um, 1.0759. And uh, we have previous weekly high which was at um, 1.0829 and uh, previous weekly low at, sorry, previous weekly high at 1.017 and previous weekly low at 1.0829. And uh, we had uh, previous monthly high to be at uh, 1.1017 and the previous monthly low we have it to be at 1.0517. We are looking at uh, the Fibonacci tool as well, which is not left out. Uh, the daily Fibonacci 38.2%. 
it's uh, 1.0766 and uh, the daily Fibonacci of 61.8% is at 1.0787. We also look at some pivot point S1, S2 supports 1.0746, 1.0747, 1.0748, 1.0749, 1.0749, 1.0749 and also our resistance is 1.0792, So uh, without this uh, giving us a, a clear prediction of where uh, the market could be heading to upon the very recent downtrend, we're expecting with a, a loss of momentum gradually at this point, this point, this point, you're expecting a reversal. Uh, to counter back to the top at 1.091 forces, gradual movement, of course, which from this point is about a wholesome 137 pips from that entry point, of course, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's currency pair, Euro USD. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hi, welcome back, guys. And uh, on today's stock market, we're having a look at EasyJet. Now, uh, headlining, we've seen that uh, EGJet uh, PLC, the British uh, aircraft, receives investment bank uh, banking updates following a recent aviation lobby, which has seen that uh, slower traffic recovery from Germany will be countering uh, the European continent. Now, EasyJet swings to a full year profit as expected, and this, of course, has been as a result of a second half financial performance as it delivered a very positive outlook for the year ahead and reinstated its dividend. Now, the company, which hasn't paid a dividend to shareholders in three years, uh, recently declared a final dividend of 4.5 people share, amounting to about 34 million and uh, equal to 10% of the after-tax headline profit, as previously stated. Now, the airline intends to increase this to about 20% of profits in the current financial year, while EasyJet reported a headline uh, pre-tax profit of £445 million in 12 months to 30th September. Now, up from a loss of £175 million a year before, and in line with management guidance of 440 to 460 million pounds. Now, the IT infrastructure technology and services provided, Softcard also reported a robust first quarter performance in a trading um, update on Tuesday, which has been achieving double digit gross profit growth dividend by strong demand. Now, these two uh, gi uh, stock giants have been uh, supposedly moving hand in hand, and we are expecting some sort of collaboration, which is exactly what we're seeing. On this uh, uh, technical part of the chart, we have seen a breakout of resistance and uh, we are just expecting some good news. And then, then of course, this is gonna skyrocket to um, a new zone about 501.06, uh, which from this point, it's a wholesome 192 pips, of course, which is good money. But that's our technical analysis on today's uh, stock market, EasyJet. My name is Nick. Goodbye.